guys, what's going on? This is Alex over at My Freedom Smokes, and today we're gonna to be going a little bit more in depth talking about the difference between regulated box mods and unregulated box mods. Now, I use the term box mods very loosely. Uh, that used to mean a mod that was the shape of a box. Now, people do refer to it in a few different styles, so just for the sake of this conversation, I am gonna to refer to these as box mods and these as mechanical. Now, the main difference between a regulated and an unregulated device is a chip, it's electronics. That's the only difference. Prime example are my two personal mods right here. I've got the Kanger Subox uh, Mini Nano. Uh, actually, no, nah, it's just the Mini. I don't know why I threw Nano in there. It's been a long day. And I've also got a mechanical mod. I've got a um, tugboat mod with the Mad Hatter on top. Now, as you see, when you press a button on this, you got a little screen that pops up. Uh, you've got variable uh, voltages and wattages down here at the bottom. With an unregulated or a mechanical, that's no longer in play. It is strictly battery to addy power. You're not having anything else sitting in between. I brought out a few other examples too. Uh, for instance, this one looks very similar to this. This is gonna be the Cherry Bomber, and this is the Snow Wolf. Okay, from the outside they look pretty similar, uh, maybe to someone that doesn't even vape, but these two could not be further apart from each other. This one is a regulated box mod. And you can control your wattages and voltages right here on the side. You've got a screen in the front showing you what those settings are. With this device, you do not have any of that. You do have your batteries, but that's it. These two batteries in here power that atomizer. Same thing with something like this. This is very similar to the uh, tugboat mod I've got right here. This is the Limitless mod. Again, just a pure tube. This actually has direct addy to battery contact, so there's not even something separating that. But with this one, it's very similar to this also. You've got a little screen right here to let you know what your settings are, what your battery is. This is a regulated mod. So, with that in mind, which one is best for you? <clears throat> well, you kind of have to look at it from a few different lights. It depends on uh, how comfortable you are, how much you know your battery safety and Ohm's law, and just pure convenience. Uh, if you're someone that's not a real big fan of dripping, but you really do like bigger clouds and a lot of flavor, we recommend a regulated box mod with a sub tank because that way you're gonna be able to vape on the go, it's very low maintenance, and very easy for anyone to pick up and start using if you're interested. For a unregulated, those I really recommend for people that have been vaping for a while because you do need to know about your Ohm's Law and your battery safety. Because with the build I've got in here, if my battery was not safe, I wouldn't be able to do cool stuff like this. Just like that. And that is one of the benefits of an unregulated mod. Uh, you are not limited to any sort of um, ohm capacity. Uh, with the regulated ones, it does have to fall within that wattage range. Uh, if you were to put a 0.3 coil inside of a uh, sub tank and you try running it on a 20 watt device, <clears throat> it wouldn't run. But if you took that same tank, same replacement head, and put it on one of these devices, preferably the Cherry Bomber because you've got something separating your atomizer from your battery, if you put it on something like this, you wouldn't have an issue. It'll keep vaping on. It may not be as strong as you want it, but it will work and you'll be safe as long as you have the right kind of batteries. So again, in review, these are gonna be the unregulated where there is no mechanics other than your firing button and that's it. With this one, it's gonna be your regulated and you have the option between going up and down on your voltages and wattages has uh, battery safety already built in. The one exception to the rule <clears throat> is this brand new kit we've gotten in. This is gonna be the Joytech EVIC EVLT Mini. With this one, this is going to be a mechanical and a regulated mod at the same time. You do have the option between switching between the modes. So you do have an option for temperature control, uh, regulated, and unregulated. Now when I tried this in unregulated mode, 
it's not a pure unregulation. I was thinking that when you got a mod like this one and it said unregulated, that means that you'd be able to switch between that setting and use it just like a mechanical like you would here, bypassing any of the electronics. Joytech was still smart and put safety in your hands. If you try to put something in this that is below a point three, it will not read it. That is for your safety. Most people do not go lower than a point three because of battery safety. You need to know your Ohm's law. Thankfully, Joytech has solved that for you and they're wanting to make sure you stay safe. So there are even mods that toe the line between the two. So it's honestly something you're just gonna have to take into consideration, something to kind of think on a little bit and figure out exactly which mod is gonna work best for you. And honestly, this is working great for me right now. My name is Alex, I'm over here at My Freedom Smokes, and this has been the differences between unregulated and regulated mods. So if you have any questions, always feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for vaping.